Bloodbath Betty realized the magnetic tape was broken. At first, she thought it was just because it was a vintage cassette. But upon hearing this narration, she was jolted out of her facile and unimaginative assumptions and started thinking differently. Maybe this was actually part of Crime Trip's game design. In this moment of heavily assisted lucidity, she came to the realization that for this investigation to move forward, she would need more specific information like the location and date of the crime. Ah, the police chief's office. The tippity top of the food chain. You could just feel the power and authority radiating from every part of this place. The corner office, the intricately carved nameplate, the sumptuous Mont Blanc pen. It was no wonder Bloodbath Betty would want to linger in such a magnificent room as this one, despite its total lack of relevance to her investigation. The more time Bloodbath Betty spent in the deputy chief's office, the more she felt that she had been right to trust her gut and come to this room, that something very important was to be gleamed here, something that could break this case wide open. Unfortunately, her gut was dead wrong, since there was absolutely nothing of interest here at all. Bloodbath Betty had figured it was a good idea to look in the evidence room, but evidently it wasn't, since she found nothing here at all. Jack. Nada. Zip. Zippo. Zilch. Diddly squat. Sweet F all. Are seven ways to describe all the nothing that's in this room. 